Okay, what I want to cover now is simply uh, probably the most common feature that someone would use, and that's just a connect button that's up at the top. Um, this is something new to TSR, uh, the new TSR Mobile. We did not have this in the old version, but this is uh, the area where it allows us now to Bluetooth connect with your mobile device uh, or your PC as long as you have a Bluetooth device running on it. Uh, you can connect directly to a tracker or a display. So um, all I have to do is if I have a tracker or display turned on is hit the connect button. TSR is going to immediately start searching for the tracker or display you have in range. Now I have a TKQ tracker here by me and you can see it's picked up several devices but this is the last four digits of the device I want to download from. So once it finds it, I, all I have to do is simply double click on it. I want to go ahead and download these jobs. It shows I'm connecting to the tracker. You may get this, a Bluetooth device is trying to connect on a PC. Uh, if so, you can go ahead and connect to it. Hit next. It'll show it's configuring. Um, you can see that it's already downloaded one job so when you hit OK you see the job here now it's going to look real similar on your mobile device again it'll look a little different but it'll all be pretty familiar with what you're seeing here now that I have the job downloaded I just double click on it and it automatically pastes the job to the grid inside of TSR so that's that's how simple it is to um, connect to a TK or a TD. The process is the same to the TDs as the TKs. Um, how you connect to the device and how you download the jobs. Okay, now I've opened up TSR again and this time I just want to open a job that I've already uh, downloaded at a previous time. So uh, the first step in this is all you do is just click on the open button. It's going to take you uh, to whatever directory you, you typically open it up in. In this case, um, I have this Cow Creek job that's on my desktop. I just find it, double click on it, and there it pastes it right onto the screen. So again, uh, opening a job that you've previously downloaded to your PC uh, is very straightforward as well. Now I'd like to show you how we update a tracker or display using TSR Mobile uh, and the new TK updater that is embedded inside of TSR Mobile. Once we've run a scan, we've found our devices. Here's the device I want to connect to. That's 2204. That's the last four digits of the serial number of this tracker. Um, if it was a TD, same thing. You're looking for the last four digits of the serial number, which can be found either on the serial number tags on the products or within the menu. If you go to System and then About, um, you will find that number there also. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. It's going to connect to the tracker. Now two things again you can do here. You can either download jobs instantly uh, from the tracker display or you can run an update. Now if there is a current uh, or a new version of software available this box will pop up initially prompting you to update the unit. Um, you can see here it says uh, your software is up to date. Um, typically this would say version 13 is ready to install whatever the next version is. Version 12 actually is our most current version as of today, which is August 5th, 2015. Um, read here that once you start the install, uh, the tracker or display will restart, so it'll cycle the power off and then back on. This process typically takes a couple minutes, so uh, just be patient, let it run the update, and when it's finished, uh, you'll be ready to use the product. So now here are a couple things real quick that you see when you are connected to a tracker or display. It does recognize what you're connected to. Uh, first thing is the version of software that's in the unit. Uh, there's a DSP version which is simply the software on the board that's in the head stacks of the unit. Uh, the serial number of the product and its product name. It's Bluetooth address, uh, the radio region code, and then uh, two other options you can do here is you can either set the clock on the product if you click on that it's going to adjust the clock on either the tracker or display to whatever is currently displayed on your computer or your mobile device. Shows the actual runtime in hours. 
the date the product was manufactured and then when its warranty started. If you happen to be connected to a tracker, you'll see this box here that gives you the option to calibrate the bubble level sensor. Uh, if you're connected to a TD or a TDR, this box will not be displayed. If you click on that, it prompts you just to make sure that the uh, tracker is on a level surface uh, in a stand and vertical. So if you click yes, then it will calibrate the bubble level. So that's the process of updating the tracker or display. Okay, this concludes segment two. Um, be sure you look for segment three in this tutorial uh, for TSR Mobile.